So with G.I. Joe Classified's release of the Battle Android Trooper, BAT for short, um, I was really happy to finally get some Battle Android Troopers, basically, and to be able to army build robotic troopers. But um, mech suits have been a part of my, I guess, wish list to have on a shelf, especially just based off of Hollywood. Since I was a kid, I've always seen mech suits in these Hollywood big budget franchise films. Now, they come in all different sizes in Hollywood. We can have mech suits as big as Gundams and Pacific Rims, um, Jaegers, and the size of buildings, or they could be downscaled. There's just so many different types and sizes of mech suits, but nonetheless, finding a mech suit for the 112 scale is not easy because it still needs to be considerably bigger than a figure. The figure needs to be able to go into the mech suit. So then I thought about some mech suits and I looked them up. The first one that came to mind was the mech suit in Robocop. I believe it was the ED or the ED-209. I looked them up and was like, oh yeah, I'm going to get NECA made one, Hot Toys made one. I'm assuming the Hot Toys one is pretty big. I could use that one. But I looked them up and I looked away as soon as I saw these motherfucking prices. Emotional damage! Not to mention, I said, yo, I'm not even going to be able to put a person inside of them. And the NECA one wasn't even really big enough. It looks nice, the the 209 from NECA and Hot Toys, but I didn't feel like it was really going to be able to hit the mark. And I didn't feel like it was going to have the articulation that I really wanted. So I'm now I'm sitting here like, damn, like I really need to find some mech suits. So I've been looking for a while. And once again, while walking the aisles of Target, I come across some Halo stuff. So I got lucky earlier this month with uh, another G.I. Joe classified vehicle go check that video out with like a helipad or helicopter or whatever aerial vehicle you want to call it and i was like there's no way i'm gonna get lucky again there's no way i'm gonna be able to find another gi joe in scale classified vehicle and guess what guess what we got another one another one another one another one there's a lot of crazy shit going on in the world right now including my little code <laughs> <laughs> but this is the stuff that makes me happy. This is a me. I've waited so long to find a mech suit, some type of mech suit that can be used with my six to seven inch figures just as a robotic bad guy or android that just comes through and frank shit up for the humans. And I finally got it thanks to this four, three inch halo line. Thanks to this halo line, look at this, the, look at the size of this mech right here. This is crazy. This is looking nice. This is like some baby miniature Pacific Rim type of, type of vibes I'm getting right here. Yeah, this is nice. Let, let's really look at the size. And once again, I was looking at it like, yo, I shouldn't get this. I shouldn't get this. I don't need this. But then y'all know what happened. This top part opens up for the minifigure to be able to go inside. You can see it got the little chair there. It's looking a little nice. Of course, I start looking because I'm like, all right, I see the chair. But how much space we got? We got some space in there. Um, but that chair is a little way too high up. I already know an actual figure wasn't going to fit in that chair. Once again, sorry I'm breathing like this, guys. I got a little cold. But yo, this is the shit that makes me happy. This shit is $40 right now. $40 right now. I don't care about views. I don't care about likes. I'm just posting the shit that makes me happy. And this shit makes me happy. Pause the video. Go, go, go get one. Right now, go get one. Before I even show you, go get one. Look at this. Female figure. This pops right off. Super easy. Yo, that's a female figure in there right now. Right out the box. You don't have to do no work. No customizing. No kit bashing. You could fit a whole female figure. That is the Lady J classified um, figure right out of the box. She fits in there looking pretty nice. Let's fast forward this turnaround. Yeah, look at that. She's fitting in there nice. That is a nice mech suit right there. Look at that. So we got a whole female figure in there. <clears throat> but you know, I waited so long to get a mech suit for my figures. 
I knew I wasn't gonna be able to, it wasn't gonna be no specific rim size, not yet. Eventually I will find something. Um, or no Gundam looking type thing. I'm really happy with this. This reminds me of the mech that Robocop had to fight. But we can actually fit a person in it. But that's what this reminds me of. So I waited so long to get a mech suit for my six inch figures. Now the Joes have a mech suit. But you know, it's bat season, right? Like it's bat season right now. Everybody going crazy looking for these bats. It's bat season right now. And the bat looks so nice next to it, you know. I was like, yo, I need my bat to go to the next level. When I say the next level, I need him to be over 9,000. I want that reaction. Like, I need my, my battle android trooper needs, needs something. Help me get this mech suit. And what do you know? Ooh! Ooh! Ho oh, ho! Oh my lord, look at that beauty. Isn't she free? Look at that beauty right there. It's over 9,000! Damn, that shit is fire. Yo. Yo. What do I, I need to spice it up. I need to show you. That's an actual bat. A battle Android Trooper is in the cockpit right now. I need to actually put some bats in there for you, right? That's what I need to do. Here we go. Yeah, this is looking nice. This is looking different. This definitely stands out. Obviously, I took my time. Painted it black, added some yellow accents just so it matches the, the Bat Trooper a little bit better. 40 to 50 dollars basically guys. Go pick this up. This is not a loss. Even if you don't want to customize it at all, it comes in, the, in this color, which is the color of Joe's. This matches Joe's perfectly. If you don't want to go through all the customizing, I let that seat is still in there. So with the seat in there, you can still fit a female figure in there, or you could just close the hatch completely and just make it a, a just an android just a, a, a big typical tank type of android that looks good and then if you want to paint if you want to do that just paint it black a little bit not everywhere see certain parts still match just paint a little bit black throw with some yellow accents and it matches the battle android troopers perfectly yo when they finally make something like this for the joes i'm telling you if they make mech suits some of the Sigma 6 had mech suits, but they were too small to use. But if they make mech suits, modernized mech suits for the Joes, we easily talk in $200 minimum. It's 150 to 200 minimum. It's gonna start there. So this is nice. Go pick this up, I'm telling y'all. And with the Halo TV series coming out soon, these are either gonna get sold out or their prices is not going to stay the same because the Halo TV show is dropping. I don't really know much about Halo at all. These mech suits look amazing. Whether you want to keep it right out the box or you want to put some work on them, I barely did anything. I'm sure y'all can make them look 10 times better than what I did. This shit is nice, bro. This is what I do this for. Finally get a mech suit for their 112 scale action figures because this works with anything. Marvel Legends, anything. You could paint them purple and pink and they could be Sentinel drones. I say basic height, probably around 11 or 12 inches. But the reason I say basic height is because you can make them taller. I'll make this guy taller. Since I like the bats more right now. Sheesh. And it actually stands that tall. Actually stands that tall, no issue, no problem. So we just went from 12 inches to about 15 and a half inches. So now with that 15 and a half inches, let's have Duke looking up. You throw a Joe in there. Yeah. <laughs> Baby. Look at the size of that thing compared to Duke. Oh man. For the price, you can't beat it. Without a doubt, you cannot beat that. Yo, I don't care if you don't want to use them for Joe's. I don't care what you want to use them for. These being basic mech suits in a 112 scale, amazing. Cannot beat it for that price. And the articulation on them is pretty good. We got a lot of the plastic feels hollow, so it's light, but it's not like they don't fall over or nothing easily. Look. He fell over before they did. The articulation, everything on them is just, it's good, man. For that price, you really can't beat it. Of course, my favorite tool, 
the Dremel. I literally just took my time and dremeled out that exact seat. That seat is missing from this one. I just do one shoulder at a time. Just pop out one shoulder at a time. He slides right out. Look at that empty space in there. Yeah, nothing but empty space in there. So as you can see, that one is completely hollow. On the inside, that is the joint that it turns at. So just take your time cutting the seat out. Once you cut the seat out, all this extra, what should we call it? Butt room? Yeah, I guess seat room, butt room. All this extra room, their feet, their feet can still go down there. But all this extra butt room helps get the male figures in. Obviously, since I got a bat in, I could get any standard male figure in from the classified line. And when I say I took my time painting it, I wasn't doing all this extra shit. That's why I left a lot of parts just stock. Um, you don't have to paint in none of the joints, so you don't have to worry about no paint rub. I just painted this top part black, the thigh armor black, the shin guards black, and then added the yellow accents. Some people want to, like, you spray paint and do all this. I don't got no time for that. I used Model Masters acrylic paint. Flat black and yellow. Those are the two paints that I used, and they're pretty good. I'm literally scratching it right now. No scratching or nothing like that. I actually dropped this guy. And I dropped them face down and there was no paint chips, no nothing. I love this. I use Model Masters acrylic for a lot of my customs when I do feel like painting because I don't like painting. But I had to paint this. I had to paint this. It's just so beautiful and so nice. It definitely had to get painted. Like I said, even stock right out the box. Super nice. Yo, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was informative. I hope I put you on to something that you did not realize before. And I'm sure a lot of you guys can make it way better than what I did. Remember, life is short. Try to appreciate it more than you complain about it. It's been your boy Articulated Ninja. Peace.